Okay. Awesome. Okay, so then what will happen is you'll be able to share your recording, your MP4 file with Savannah. She'll be able to post it on um, YouTube for the channel. Perfect. Okay, you know what? Um, since we're all in a time crunch and we, um, we have Veronica here for a limited time, she's highly in demand. So we're going to definitely take advantage. Um, and I have my call at nine, which means I'm going to have to disengage at about five, two. So that's our window for, for Veronica. So let me, um, let me introduce uh, Veronica to this growing team. As you can see, what we have is a young team, Veronica, and not everybody's on. Some people work. Um, and um, I just want to give you a little bit of a heads up. So Veronica is somebody on my team in Mexico who shot up really, really quickly, I think, uh, through the ranks to platinum before I ever knew she existed. And then one day, I'm not exactly sure how it happened. I think Veronica reached out to me and she was looking for some coaching, some mentoring. I don't know how I hit her radar because um, I'd done a pretty good job of staying invis invisible in Mexico until this time. <laughs> and she... She brought me back out of the woodwork and made it really fun uh, to work in Mexico. Um, we, we worked together. We did some events together. We had one really cool event at a uh, theater where they were doing the Lion King. There was over 800 people in attendance for our presentation. And um, I was uh, privileged to be a special um, person invited to her wedding as a witness. and. Um, anyway, it's just been nothing but a blast. We've, we've traveled the world. We've been, I don't know how many locations together, of course, on Nikan trips, because that's how you do it, guys. You win the Nikan trips, they pay your way and you have fun. And, um, and she has built an incredible business, uh, to the Royal Diamond rank. Veronica, how, how many years have you been in Nikan now? 10, Mike. 10. I knew it was 10. I just wanted you to say it. Um, and you went Royal Diamond last year or the year before? No, 2020. Two years ago. Okay, so cool. So um, I know this team is young and they're getting their, they're cutting their teeth on this industry of network marketing and, and they come from varied backgrounds, but you've gone through it all. You have your own experience of, of helping people at various stages of development. And um, I'm thinking maybe you can start with your story so they know how did, how did Nikan ever enter your life? Where were you coming from and why? And then maybe um, they can ask some questions about that's relevant to where they're at in the state at the early stages. I mean, some, there, there's one gal here, Sashay, who just registered as just before this call. So we're, we've got people who are that new um, and some who've been in the business, um, not even a month, some who've been in the business a few months, we've got a one, two silvers on the line. Uh, again, just a young three silvers, uh, on the line, a young growing audience. And, um, so let's start with your story. This is Veronica Ampudia. She lives in Mexico city. She's not only an amazing Nikan person. She is a very dear friend of mine. We have a, a very strong personal relationship. One of the great things about Nikan is some of my best friends are people who I met through Nikan, and she is definitely one of them. So, Veronica. Thank you, Mike. Well, How thank your story? you. Thank you for the invitation. Uh, no, no, thank no. Thank you. you for taking the time. Oh, and, and I'm, I'm uh, honored to see this um, young team, young faces. It's, um, it's hilarious to be here. Thank you for inviting me to share a little bit of what I've learned. Uh, this has been a, a journey, an interesting journey. I studied business administration and then I did like a course in finance and I've worked, I started working since I was 18. I started in the corporate world and I worked in the corporate world for over 22 years uh, in different projects. You can um, see what I've done on my work in LinkedIn, if you're interested in just snooping there a little bit. Um, and, and after 22 years um, and being in a position of director for several years, I, I was not being the person that I wanted to be. Like I had to be this 
tough, um, always pushing forward person. And the corporate world is not exactly what I wish for the world. So I always wanted to make things different. And I decided to become independent, to do whatever I was doing, but on my own. And suddenly Nikon crossed my path. And um, honestly, network marketing was totally off the scope for me. Um, in Mexico, network marketing is for people that didn't go to school. And I did go to school. So it was like, no, 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 no. Absolutely. It was an absolute no for me. So, but um, I decided to take a peek and see. And I, when they told me about the business model, I saw something interesting. And I said, well, maybe I should give it a try because maybe I'm not um, being smart enough. And um, I started inquiring about more about Nikon. And I found out that the top leaders were in the United States, Canada, and Europe, and they were men that did go to school. So I said, something's weird. Something weird is happening in Latin America that people that went to college and that are prepared are not doing the business. So I decided to j jump in. Um, the first year was like horrible because um, I came from the corporate world in a position of director. I'm bossy. I like giving orders. I like people following those orders. And you come to this business where you're nobody's boss of no of anybody and you don't give orders. And so I started bumping like every turn I was bumping around, making all sorts of mistakes. And um, so, and I went to the meetings and I didn't like the meetings. So I liked the business model, but I didn't like the way that it was done. So I was in total confusion. And um, I heard of some guy, it was like the big- Wait, 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 I have to ask, why didn't you quit? I mean, why didn't you quit? Because I saw the business model and I said, this, this works. It's not working for me, but this works. So how can, am I going to make it work for me? And there has to be a way. Like this can't be the only way or the way. So that's when I learned about, um, I would call um, the corporate office in Los Angeles, in Irvine, Every time I got a complaint, the office in Mexico didn't know what to do with me. It's like, oh, it's it's her again. Like, <laughs> have her call Irvine so they get rid of her. And I would call Irvine like three times per week. And I was a big pain in the neck for everyone. And suddenly I, I listened that I heard that some big kahuna guy um, called Mike DiMucho was like the big guru, the papa frita of the steak. And I said, I need to, to meet this guy because I'm sure he doesn't do the business like it's like they do it here. So um, the convention in Orlando, I guess, I don't remember where, yeah. but that was the convention. Was probably the one in, in yeah, Orlando, yeah. Orlando, um, like seven years ago, uh, I, was, I was going to attend and um, it happens to be that the big kahuna was gonna be there. So um, I'm very short and he's very tall. So I reached out to him and I pulled his jacket. And I said, hey, <laughs> hey, I want you to coach me because I'm desperate. And I'm like this far from quitting. And he said, oh, just send me an email and, psh, and uh, whatever. So I sent him an email and he said, um, I don't mentor just anyone. So uh, I need to observe you like for several months and see how you work because I don't waste my time. And I'm like, oh, I am totally like, he doesn't have any idea who he's talking to, see? So, um, so I said, okay, 
um, and so he put me under the microscope for several months. And then he invited me to join his uh, mentoring calls. And I learned uh, tons of things about the business from Mike. So you guys are privileged to have him like firsthand because you didn't have to go to the microscope or maybe yes, and I don't know, I don't know. But um, it was a life-changing event uh, knowing to do the business with the rhythm of the business that Mike designed. Because here in Mexico, um, it was like a total different idea and it works for some people, but it was not working for me. I'm like a more structured person. Like um, I like the rhythm of the business. I like the methodology that the business has. So, um, Definitely, I would have quit if I wouldn't find my place of growth and of um, you need to have a place where you go to learn and whatever you learn, you replicate with your team. So if you don't have that place to go to, you will get frustrated, you will get bored and you will hate it because at least that was that's what what was happening with me and um and i was frustrated because i could see that the business model worked but it was not working for me or that way was not working for me so if you ever feel like iffy on the place you're being uh just don't quit just find other ways other paths other people and you will find your own way of doing things. So uh, everybody told me, I didn't like the Nikon events. So they told, I, so I would complain and Nikon would say, you don't like my events? No, I don't. I think this and this and this should be done. Okay, then you do your own events. And I'm, okay, okay, well, I'll do my own events. And we started uh, with a 300 people, um, event we rented a cinema um, with 300 seats um, and I called Mike Mike can you come to Mexico and he said well I won't come if you don't have like a 300 people event so I said okay we'll, we'll do it whatever and it happened to turn out well he came we had the the event we had some trainings so I started doing things that everybody would say that you shouldn't do that. You should just go through this road and that's it. So I started like doing things off of the chart and it worked and I was happy. And so this is a um, custom made um, business. It's tailor made for each and every one of you. So just let your creativity, let your inner guide tell you what, what's the purpose for you to do this? What do you want for Nikon to do for you? It's a tool. So what are you going to do with this tool? What are you going to create? And whatever uh, one of you creates, it's totally different from the girl next to you and from the girl next to you. So it makes it unique. And that uniqueness is the one that's gonna make you thrive wherever you wanna get. So basically that's my story. I, well, I started building a great team and then there was like a revolution in my team. Like it was like a total disaster. Everybody would start fighting with everybody. Nobody was happy. I didn't know how to keep that team together. I was like, like, um, like just surviving in the mud. And um, Mike helped me out through mentoring to get out of that. And so I graduated. I was mentoring and helping people that were already grown-ups so I let the grown-ups follow the grown-up path and I went and recruit a whole new team so um so just keep connected keep 
having someone to teach you, to mentor you, uh, be willing to learn. Like arrogance is not a good companion in this path. Like um, somebody that is looking your business from the outside will have a, a more objective point of view to your business than just your own we're gonna not gonna be objective because it's our business and we always think we're doing our best and we think that we're doing it's the right thing but sometimes it's not so don't be stubborn as i was <laughs> it will shorten your period of time to to get to your goal and well that's my story and and i consider myself to have a great team but I think the secret is to, to help people become leaders and then have those leaders become independent. And as they become independent, they will build their and replicate the system because it's a system. So the more independent leaders you have in your organization, the bigger and the stronger your group will be. So the least they need you, the better it's going to be for your business. Awesome. Yeah. I remember one of the first objectives that I had when I got into this business was to become the least important person in my organization. And in order, for, and to do that, I mean, think about it. If you've, if you've reached the top of the compensation plan and you've become the least important person, then you have freedom. You have the lifestyle and the freedom. So that means leverage and duplicate a system, right? Develop team teams and develop leadership within that. So guys, she is a wealth of knowledge and, and experiences. Um, I've asked you guys to come with a question or two. So go ahead, fire, fire them out because you're all at different Please stages of this and there's no stupid questions. So go ahead, yeah. Kyla, you had your hand up first. And I've made all the mistakes that you made. <laughs> oh, I I really appreciated that story. Um, I'm fairly new here, so it's nice to hear someone that's kind of been in the challenge and still worked their way up. But I want to know what the best part was and what the most rewarding part was for you. Okay. Throughout the journey. Oh, that's a great question. Well, the best the best part for me has been and has always been one of my key objectives. It's to help people change their lives. So the most rewarding thing is to see someone that felt hopeless become an independent business builder. That's the most rewarding thing for me. Every time I help someone become a leader and I see that transformation in their lives, not just financially, but personally and professionally, that's my biggest reward. And the most, and what else, what was the, the, the best question? part of the journey, but you kind of, you kind of answered that. Okay. And the best part of the journey was that, but also personal growth. I, I saw all the Nikan is like, like putting a mirror in front of you and taking all your clothes off. And there's like nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. This is you. These are your, your strengths. These are your weaknesses. And face it, girl, because if you want to grow, you need to love all those faulties, all those things that we don't like, all those traumas all those burdens in our minds we have to clean them out so that that has been awesome i've cried i've fallen to the ground i've lifted myself up but it has been fabulous thank you you're welcome i have a question Hard questions <laughs> yeah I have a question. Uh, first, again, I want to say thank you so much. I appreciate you taking your time out to speak to us tonight. Um, one of my questions was, Have did you ever deal with self-doubt when you started Negan? Like, at any point in Negan, did you ever think, I can do this for, like, your own, like, your, your negative thoughts in your head? And if you did, how did you push past that? Okay. Oh, ex ex oh I think you're talking to the right person for that question. Uh, 
if Nick, if the year has 52 weeks, uh, I wanted to quit Nikken like twice a week. So over a hundred times per year. So twice a week, I was like with my phone in my hand, like I'm going to talk to my offline, like right now, I'm going to tell her that I'm not going to the meeting and that she'll never see me again. I'm done. That was twice a week. So if, if you're like less than twice a week, you're doing excellent. If you're doing more than twice a week, I think it's perfect as well. It's part of the process. Um, so um, I struggled a lot. That was the first, my first year, wanting to quit twice a week. Uh, Self-doubt all the way all the way through the 10 years. And I had to, to strengthen myself because as, as I had people in my group and as I became a leader, um, some people are going to like you. Some people won't like you. Some people are going to like your way of working and some are going to hate it. So that's, that's where the personal development uh, comes in. Who are you? And how are you going to thrive forward, even though people will like you or not, and people will like your system or not? So um, yeah, how did I push forward through that? Working in myself, with, my, with myself and in myself. And working to become a leader and never being alone. Like if I had left Mike's mentoring, definitely I would have quit. Because the more you advance, the more you grow, the more you need to, you grow, but you need to grow. And it's like, I, you don't have children, I have three, but it's like little children, little problems, big children, big problems. So little business, little problems, Big business, big problems, but you get prepared for that and you're not alone. Thank I you have so a question. Go ahead. Um, I have two questions actually. So I really resonated with what you were saying about, you know, not liking the way things are done and wanting to do your own thing. And I feel like I experience that on a daily basis <laughs> and I'm, like the thing for me that I struggle with is anxiety about all the things that I want to do and how to start, where to start, mm -hmm. like how to connect yourself to people and get the word out. So I kind of just want to know, like when you decided to do your own thing and you decided to do that one, that one event, like, where did you start and okay. how did you, if you dealt with anxiety like, how did you deal with it? Oh, but of course, <laughs> but of course, anxiety, it's, it's part of the journey. I, I, and um, I made a list because I'm the kind of person that, that wants to do it all. I would, I want to be president yeah. and I want to be the president of my country, but the president of the UN, I want to do it all. I want to do it all. And I have an opinion for everything. Uh, <laughs> but I decided that if I can control my own business, I'm doing fairly well. So making a list of all those things that you want to do and then prioritize, prioritize uh, which one is more urgent and more important. So what was in urgent and important to me was that everybody knew Big Kahuna because it he transformed my way of seeing the business and I wanted to attract people like me and I was not going to attract people like me if I'm gold I'm earning three pesos and I don't have like a huge story so I needed him to come to tell his story so that was urgent for me to 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 have Mike in Mexico and deliver that message so anxiety goes when, when you're absolutely passionate about what you're going to do. You don't know the outcome. I didn't know if that 
if bringing this man to Mexico was going to be total disaster and that cinema was going to be empty, I had no idea. But I had to just go like night, just do it. So anxiety leaves when you're absolutely passionate about what you're doing because you will make it work. You will make it happen. And um, I think making that list, pri make it, putting your priorities first because you can't do everything mm -hmm. uh, and see what you can do and it's worth redoing and what it's worth plugging in and just um, letting it um, be as it is because nothing it's going to be perfect as I'm understanding you want it. Me too. Like I'm always like this, like when is the system in Europe going to run the way I want it? I wish I could go out and do the system, but I need to be patient. So if I make my list, there's things that I'm going to be, I need to be patient because it's worth being patient because I'm just going to plug in. And there's things that are priority to me that I won't wait and I'll do it my way because I'm passionate about doing it my way. I'm, I don't know if I'm coming across mm -hmm. uh, correctly, if I'm answering your question, Savannah. I like that. that Anxiety, whenever you feel anxious, just, just twist the passion, like three, just crank it, more you know, put more passion in and anxiety anxiety can't coexist with passion mm -hmm. so the more passion you bring in anxiety will run away she doesn't like it thank you i do have another question but i do have to go answer my door so i'll let someone else ask and then i'll come back okay um, I could go just uh, to go off of what Savannah was saying. Um, I was just curious. So going back to that person, 300 person event that you held, how did you like actually, what was your strategy in actually getting all of those people to come? Or like what kind of did you see was the biggest um, strength that you had when, when inviting all those people and, and them actually showing up for you? Because I find that something that I, I'm struggling with. Okay, well, um, the objective has to be very clear. Like my objective was, I want you to understand what I do. I want you to know and to learn what my business is. So just please come and understand and know what I'm doing. That's it. I just want you to know. I don't want you to engage. I don't want you to buy. And I would invite them like this. I don't want you to buy anything. I don't want you to sign up. I don't want you to do anything but come and understand what I do. Because that's step one. The minute people understand what we do, then either they want to figure out more about it or they know someone that might be interested. So if I go out like trying to sell tickets for a 300 people event, selling something, I'm sure that would have been a disaster. So I made it about, I want you to know what I, to understand what I do. And the guru big kahuna papa frita of the steak is coming <laughs> to Mexico and you can't miss it because this is like a once in a lifetime opportunity for, for you to, to listen. And I sold tickets openly, not just it through my team, but openly to all Nick and consultants. Anyone that wanted to buy a ticket could join. My team at that time, was not big enough to to full, to sell 300 tickets but i i opened the invitation for other teams and that's how we had the the full the full cinema um all the seats were covered there's a great picture 
I don't know where that picture is, Mike, but that's a great picture. Is that the one where I'm I'm standing like this at the front and every and it's all the way we'd see behind? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Gosh, where is that picture? I know I have it somewhere. Yeah, that's amazing. Thank you so much. That honestly mm -hmm. truly helped. <laughs> Sometimes we want to go like full scope with people. And what has worked for me is the contrary, to go step by step with small details. It's like, I just want you to understand what I do. That's totally. for me, that's my first step. Because first, the first step will take me to the second and to the third. 100%. Thank you again. No, Good you're question. welcome. Alicia, you got your hand up. Can't hear you. You're muted. Sorry. Um, I just wanted to know if at any point there was like an aha moment or a turning point where you realized like, yes, I can do this. I'm not giving up. Like I'm going to run this full through. I know you said you always you know, joked with the idea of quitting every week, but you never did. But was there a moment where that finally stopped and you were like really self-assured? Yes, I think that was when I became gold. Um, and I started seeing a check. I'm a terrible salesperson. It's shameful, but I'm a terrible salesperson. I do sell, but I sell because people know what I do. And they ask for the products, but it's, it's, um, I'm not like top sales or things like that because um, I'm much better business builder than salesperson. So when I reached gold and I saw that I could earn this much money from sales, from personal sales and this much money of my, of my business building, that's the moment when I said, I need to grow this team as big as I can and, um, and leverage all the tools that I have. Because if I depend on my sales, this can't even be considered a business. It's like not even a hobby. Like it was, um, no, 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 you could cry. But, um, but if you're not a good salesperson and you're a good business builder, that's a good uh, news. If you're a good salesperson, then even better. Um, you do great in sales and you grow your business. So uh, yes, I think that aha moment comes along in the way and um, just be patient. And I don't know when it'll come, but It'll come the day when you say, I don't know what happens, but I won't quit. Because you also see this kind of stories like between Mike and Gloria Nava, which is number one in Latin America and uh, the upline of my upline, there were seven people. Those seven people quit when Gloria was a tiny, tiny little business. Mike came to Mexico, opened Mexico, left, and he didn't come till 25 years, 20, 20, 25, I don't know, years after that. When he left and left Gloria, a tiny little business. When he came back, this was a multi-million dollar um, business. Those seven people that quit never saw it coming and they lost it all. So if you have one downline, don't quit. What if that is the next Gloria Nava and you left a multi-dollar business because you lost faith? Great. Right. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, I'll ask my second question. So um, I was wondering how you deal with the challenges of helping others and duplicating in regards to um, people not, like people, people making their first moves, having their first sale, having their first team member. Um, and also I'm sure you've experienced people quitting on you and quitting, quitting on them themselves, really not, not you, but themselves. And I'm just wondering how you've, how you've dealt with that. 
Okay. Well, um, helping people through their first steps. Um, patience, it's not one of my best qualities. So I, I like working with people that are fast learners and they, they, they ask me for the next step and for the next step, that's like my, the place where I bloom. So first steps, what I did is a guide. It's a small system, it's a guide. So it's the first, it's called the one, two, three. So it's the baby steps guide. So every new person that comes in, I give them the one, two, three, the baby steps guide, and I have them follow it. So I, maybe I'm not the best person to, to babysit and I'm here for your first sale. If they ask me, I give them the guide and if they, um, I tell them, I'm here if you need this and this and this, these are the steps and this is how the business is done. If they get the information and they reach out, I will, I will accompany them. But if they don't take a look at the guide, if they don't have time, if they didn't read, if they didn't watch the video, because like the one, two, three, it's a five minute video that solves a lot of things that um, a lot of questions that they could make me, but they can, if they see that video, they're self-explained. So if they don't do that, I tell them, if you have an, an account, a consultant account, you get a discount or a better price. For that, you need to do certain work. So that certain work is preparing yourself at least on the very basics. So I'm here to help you and support you, but you need to follow this and this and this and this. And I take them back to self uh, growth. I try not to um, to give them all the answers because if if you let someone uh, adjust, accommodate to having you solve everything, I have leaders that solve everything for their downline. They don't grow. Maybe they're planning them, but they don't grow, and they won't grow because they have made a system of pampering and loving and caring community where she does all the work and everybody asks and demands and she wants to be so nice and caring and loving that how can I say no? I'm not that loving and caring and I give the one to three and if you follow it, fine. If not, I'm here to help, but you need to do your part. And I work with the people that work. I work with the people that want to make the next move. If not, I, I don't pressure anyone to advance in rank, especially to silver. Because if I push someone to go to silver that won't work after that, I lost her in my group volume. She won't do anything after that. And what's the purpose in that? I rather have someone in my group volume than a silver that it's not working. So, uh, but I learned that the hard way and during the process. Uh, at the beginning, I would help people and, oh, you're missing 50 points to get to silver. No, no, I will buy a water bottle that I need and I didn't need it. And doing all sorts of things that are not necessary. People that want to build business and that want to thrive will make things happen. People that just want to swim around, it's fine. But we have to let people do whatever they want and try to help them create a bigger vision of themselves. But I learned to be respectful for what the other person wants. So the way I, I, I accompany them, Savannah, it's by giving them tools for them to auto um, learn. 
That was really and helpful. I, I have my weekly meeting. So all the questions can be, and I they can reach me through WhatsApp. I'm always reachable, but I'm not reachable for what's the price of the bottle? Come on. We all need to have our price list, okay? Is the how do I get into the system? Please watch the video one, two, three. So whatever, whatever answer is in that little system, I won't answer it. I will refer to you to go back. Do you have the uh, one, two, three step process that you could share with my dad so we could see what you do? Yeah, of course. It's in Spanish, but I can we can make yeah. a version in English. Yeah. No yeah, problem. either either one. I mean, maybe my dad can freshen up on his <laughs> Spanish and tell us. But otherwise, um, yeah, even if he could do an English one, I would love to see what you guys do um, okay. to get somebody going because that would be really helpful. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. And and if people want to stay, we divide the business in uh, usuarios, which is uh, people that just use the products that are signed up as business consultants, but use just use the products. They have their account to buy cheap, which there's in Latin America, there's a lot of those. Then we have salespeople, which are people that um, signed up just to make small sales and that's it. Then we have uh, small business builders, which are people that want to get to silver and start growing at least a small business that runs month through month. And then we have the big business, business builders, which are people that want to go gold and beyond. So we divide the business in those four groups. And when somebody joins, we ask them, what are you looking for? In what of those four groups would you like to join? So, um, it's self-explanatory and, and the information provided to each group, it's different. So we don't assume that everyone wants a big business. We don't assume that you are a salesperson. We ask you in what of those four groups you would like to join. And sometimes people that use the products eventually will build a business. Um, I have a question. In, oh, sorry. No, go there was ahead. the second just, part of your question, though. Yeah, the, the I, I, I want to get to how you I deal with wanna, people who quit. How do well, you deal with I, I wanna, Yeah. Um, I just want to ask with something you just said. It had to do with um, use, how do you determine, like, how much information does, does somebody need to have for them to determine which group they want to be in, in your, in your, like, process? Okay, we, we, we tell them, for example, if, to, for, if you're, you're a user, if you, are, you signed up an account to buy your products in a, for, in a better price and you, and you want to build your wellness home, not like I just want to buy a water bottle and then I'm not going, you really want to inquire more in the products of the company. That's users. Uh, salespeople, it's anyone that just wants to sell and have um, an income from sales, but are, are not interested in building a group, in inviting others. Small business, it's people that want to invite others, but they're not very, they're not really committed. They're not really interested in plugging into meetings or trainings. Uh, you invite them to an event and they are never available. You invite them to a training and they are never available. Um, they're always busy, blah, blah, blah. They, have, they still don't have the vision to grow a business. And that's okay because sometimes that needs time. So that's small business. They get to silver and they have a small group and um, and that's it. Um, like if you pressure those people further and they're not ready, they can quit instead of being a happy silver, what I call mm -hmm. a happy silver. It's better to have a happy silver than a burnout silver. 
And then business builders, it's I'm willing to do ABCs, go to trainings, contact, invite, follow the rhythm of the business, be connected, uh, be a team leader, um, put, have my own name, my own signature, and my own purpose for my team. So that's that's a big business builder. It's someone that wants to, to grow independently and become um, have freedom um, financially and um, personally. Did I'm I just answer? keeping a, an eye on the time. Um, yeah. um, we've got 12 minutes. I've got a little bit less before I have to jump up. But I do want to get to the answer of that. The burnout, the people yeah. quitting. Yeah. Oh, Savannah. <laughs> if I tell you <laughs> how many people have quit on me horribly and on themselves, like, as you said, on themselves, but that's like a very mature way of saying it. I'm not that mature and I do feel they are quitting <laughs> on me and they quit on me because they keep doing the business, but they don't want to train with me. They don't want to come to my meeting, but they want to go to the neighbor's meeting. And that feels awful. And it's part of the journey and it's part of knowing who you are, what you offer. And it's like, it's a, like a gelato stand. Like there's lots of, of flavors and some will come and ask for lemon and some will come and ask for chocolate. So every time someone asks for, asks for chocolate, lemon cries. And some, whenever someone asks for vanilla, um, coffee cries. So it's kind of saying, I am lemon. Lemon offers this super zest freshness da -da 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 -da, that chocolate doesn't. Chocolate offers richness, et cetera, et cetera. So who are you and what do you offer? And just be totally immersed in that. And don't doubt it. Because you can't be lemon, coffee, and chocolate at the same time. Because then you become codependent, crazy, cuckoo in your head, and feeling terrible because you could not fulfill everybody's expectations. You will never. So who are you? Are you vanilla? Are you chocolate? Are you raspberry? Are you lemon? I don't know, but you are something special and unique and you know what you offer. That's your offer. And you will attract people that want what you offer. So if someone walks and said, no, I don't like lemon. I want coffee. Lemon doesn't cry. Let them go to coffee. They're still part of your business. So even though if, that, I think it's so beautiful because I'm not sure if you know that how this group is going now, but it's kind of like Savannah, um, Sophia and Elena and Elena signed me up, but it kind of feels like they're chocolate, strawberry and vanilla, but they all want to help each other out. So like Elena has been really good at like, you know what, you connect with Savannah and I think you guys can grow together, but she understands that by us benefiting each other, it's all going to be like a group benefit. So it was so beautiful that you said that because they're my, they're my gelato flavors. <laughs> I think Mike is the ice cream store. Yes. And I, I was lemon crying because they would go to coffee. And it's ridiculous. Like, yeah. like, yeah. So, so if you see your team as this gelato store, that the ABC becomes magical. Because if you see someone like Lemon, you say, no, no, go to her, talk to her because she's Lemon and you will understand perfectly well what she's saying. So that's when teamwork comes in in a very strong way. So getting to know every one of you, what are your strengths, what are your weaknesses and what is your offer? Because 
each one of you has a different offer. Like one of my top leaders offers health. I offer uh, freedom. Another person offers um, like helping other people, like a personal development. So we are the same team, but we have different offers. Mm. So the ABC is critical in this business. If arrogance hits you and you think that you can do it all alone and you don't need the ABCs, 